Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I love Blender you can call me Blenderic. In this chapter of my Blender modeling furniture interior assess, uh, accessories I will show you how to make a simple bass for a interior scene. Yeah. Uh, we need to start by pressing 7 to go to the top view spacebar add mesh circle default settings are good for us press tap to go to edit mode 1 to go to front view holding down shift holding down mouse wheel pan your view now press E to extrude enter Z and extrude left click to uh, confirm eat and extrude enter Z S to scale down E enter Z drag left click to confirm scale E enter Z S to scale E enter Z S to scale E enter Z drag your mouse scale it down E enter Z S to scale E enter Z E enter Z a little bit scale it up E enter Z confirm by left click E enter Z S to scale it down E enter Z oh, now we are going down just like that confirm by left click E enter Z scale E enter Z go somewhere in the middle S to scale scale it up E enter Z go down S to scale scale it down left click to confirm E enter Z like that S to scale E enter Z and make just small move scale it down scale it down as much as possible and press W merge at center A to deselect go back to front view by pressing 1 Make sure you are in an orthographic view by pressing 5. Zoom in by scrolling your mouse wheel. Press B for box selection tool and select just the button vertices. E to extrude only edges, escape, scale, scale it down as much as possible. Again, press W, merge at center. A to deselect. Tap to go out of edit mode. One to go to front view. And now we are going to add modifier. Subserve. Levels 2. Render levels 3. Set smooth button. Set smooth button. Yeah. Smooth now. Well, we see some problems here which we can fix by going to edit mode by pressing tab uh, A to select all of the vertices and uh, control N left click to confirm recalculate normals normals outside A to deselect tap to go to out of edit mode and yeah that's it uh, if you think that uh, the bottom edge is not 
as sharp as you want press tab to go to edit mode and with this button part of a vas selected control R to bring the loop cut menu left click to confirm and just move the new loop cut as as down as possible left click to confirm A to deselect tap to go to out of edit mode and it looks much better yeah. zero to go to the camera view seven go to the top view select the light by right click G and move it in front of a vase uh, from this view we see that inside of a vase is not good so I press 1 to go to the front view holding down shift and mouse wheel pan your view go to wireframe uh, back by set tap to go to by the vase selected with the vase selected press down and tap uh, under this uh, modifiers subserve press this uh, circle apply apply modifier to editing cage during edit mode and see what happen uh, scroll your mouse wheel you can zoom in the view and uh, hold on control and R you can bring the loop cut menu uh, left click to confirm and just move it move it a bit down and this is going to make it like inside of our vase more flat as it was before tap to go out of edit mode and now you don't see this things inside of our vase anymore yeah zero to go to camera view F12 to render alright so we have create we have created our vase but we want to do more in this tutorial so uh, press somewhere uh, here click somewhere here one to go to the phone view click somewhere here spacebar add mesh add the lamp and add a hemi hemi light material buttons uh, light icon energy is gonna go down to zero point something about six yeah make the color yellow we've done it before F12 to render and you see some different okay but that's not we want to get something more so F12 to go to top view add mesh plane S to scale scale it up 5 to go to autograph view G and now 1 to go to front view 5 to go to autograph view I move that plane at the bottom of our vase with a uh, plane still selected go to edit mode by a press and tap select the face select mode press E to extrude oh, let's see. and just extrude it along the Z axis just a little bit 